Um, something else that I wanted to ask you about, Professor, and I don't know how much, if at all, you pay attention to the online leftist community, but one of the more fracturing and extremely divisive debates in recent memory occurred over this idea called force the vote, which sought to pressure progressive Congress people into using their leverage to essentially threaten Speaker Pelosi's reelection, and as a result, potentially get some policy concessions, or at very least a floor vote on Medicare for all. Um, if you paid attention at all to this debate, did you have an opinion on the strategy? And do you think that elected progressives, uh, Congress people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez or Ro Khanna, um, who believe in policies like Medicare for all and a Green New Deal, um, have a responsibility to be fighting to push um, President Joe Biden and his administration even harder um, by using their leverage in instances like this uh, or to hold up key bills in order to get policy concessions? Let's take a look at the real world, not a dream world, the world we live in. Suppose you push, suppose you manage to push Pelosi to say, let's have a vote on Medicare for all. And in the Senate, push Schumer to have it. We know exactly what's going to happen. 50 Republicans will vote against it. A large number of Democrats will vote against it. Two, certainly. Manchin and Cinema, probably plenty of others. So what we're saying is, let's do something to be defeated. Is that a strategy? I mean, you know, it's nice to have to say, I want this. But, but we're not children who say, I want this piece of candy. I'm going to ask for it even if I'm gone, locked up in my room. 